Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Atchley. A Pima County man who ran a daycare in his home is now charged with sexually abusing one of the preschoolers in that house. Investigators say the abuse happened at this home west of I-10, but deputies are now tackling one question. How do you get testimony from a young child? Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live at the jail with some answers. Guy, Gary Talkington is behind the razor wire here at the jail, and the testimony of a very young child is part of what put him here under arrest. Now, it can be hard to get reliable information from a child over something as innocuous as spilled milk. So how do you get a child to open up with an allegation of child abuse? That can take some very special detectives and sometimes a friendly dog. Detectives say at this in-home daycare, Gary Talkington used candy to entice a child from nap time, then sexually abused that child in ways we simply will not describe, and did it at least three times. When we went to the house, a woman there refused to talk to us. But how can a detective get a child to talk about something he or she may have been told to always keep secret? Children absolutely know what's important, and they know what happened to them, and they know how to describe those feelings. She can't talk about this case, but as a Tucson police detective, Kathy Rao questioned abused children for many years. Now she leads the Southern Arizona Child Advocacy Center as an ideal place for questioning children who may have been abused. Investigators use gentle questioning in a comfortable environment, but still need precise information. What do you call that part of your body? What does that part of your body do? Sometimes Russell the dog is such a comfort. Children will talk to the dog and investigators will overhear the information they need. There have been children uh, that have gone through very traumatic experiences that don't want to talk to the interviewer, but they would talk to Russ about what happened. So we just give that child and Russ some time alone. And then usually the child can can start talking about the incident. Now, doing those interviews can be brutal for the interviewers themselves. Kathy Rao says investigators have to be on guard not to let those things they hear weigh them down. And she says the stress can even be absorbed by Russell the dog to the point where it's important to give him some playtime. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Thanks.